You ever have something quit on you at the worst possible time? A while back, we took the camper out for a quiet weekend off grid, no hookups, just peace and pine trees. And about 10 o'clock that night, the lights started to flicker. I mean, everything just stopped. That was our battery calling it quits. I'd been nursing it for a while and that night sealed the deal. So today we're gonna walk through what I did to test the old battery, what I replaced it with, and how I got the whole system back up and running. Welcome to Papa's Toolbox. Let me show you the test that told me this battery was officially done. Now, this here is the Testman multimeter. It's simple, reliable, and it saved me more times than I can count. I use it for everything from testing wires to diagnosing bad connections. So I clipped this battery in and checked it, and yep, the one I got in here is toast. I charged it overnight before we left and it still couldn't hold above 10 volts under load. And that's how you know it's not just drained, it's dying. So let me show you the upgrade that's going in next and why I chose it. This is what we're replacing it with. The Red Odeo 12 volt, 200 amp hour lithium phosphate battery. I've been eyeing this one for a while. It's got grade A cells and it's a full 200 amp hour capacity with a five year warranty that's worth more than the paper it's printed on. Let's talk about what that actually means. A lot of folks see 100 amp hour or 200 amp hour and assume all the batteries are the same but it really matters what's inside grade a cells means you get what you pay for no recycled cells no inflated numbers and lithium phosphate is safer it's longer lasting and it's better in extreme temperatures if you're building for long-term use trailers sheds cabins you want something like this so let's unbox this battery and see what we got this is the Red Odeo 200 amp hour, 12 volt battery. This comes with a, a product manual here. It's got a 100 amp BMS, which is the battery management system that's inside. Here's our post bolts. Comes with four post bolts as well as the little protective locking caps. We put them to the side. Let's get a first look at this beast. Woo wee, look at that. That my friends is a 200 amp hour lithium phosphate battery. That sucker means business right there. Oh, look at there. It's got nice rope handles on it. I'm going to get it out of the box and sit it here where we can see it, okay? And these things are amazingly light for what you're getting. I just can't believe these lithium phosphate batteries, how light they are compared to what we used to use. I mean, look how big that sucker is. It is huge and it's nothing for me to pick it up. I mean, that is amazing. So what I'm gonna do, take these little plastic protective caps off. I'm going to go ahead and put two of the contact post bolts in here. Like so. And we'll be ready to go. We'll tighten those down in just a minute. I'm going to throw some protective caps on them just so I don't hit anything with it. And it's ready to go, ready to go in our system. And hey, Red Odeo gave me a discount code for y'all. So use APP at checkout for 6% off. Links are down in the description. Now let me show you how I installed this beast and how I double checked everything with the Testman multimeter. So I had thrown temporarily, I had thrown a, this 100 amp uh, Power Queen lithium phosphate battery that I had 
Uh, that's actually my trolling motor battery. I use it for trolling. So let's get that out of there. And, um, and we'll get our 200 amp hour battery hooked up from Red Odeo. So the first thing you want to do, anytime you're messing with these solar power systems, first thing I want to do is go outside and disconnect the uh, solar panels. You don't want to have any charge coming in from your solar panel when you start disconnecting and reconnecting a battery. So let me get my ladder and I'll be right back. All right, I got my handy dandy telescoping ladder. I love this thing. My daughter bought it for me for Father's Day a couple years ago. And it's just the best thing since sliced bread. And just that quick, I've got an extension ladder set up. I'm gonna skinny up this ladder and disconnect these solar panels. And all I gotta do is pop that negative there and that breaks the circuit. Now, our solar panels are disconnected. We can come back inside the camper and start working on our battery install. So our solar panels are disconnected so we don't have power coming in. We're not hooked to shore power. We're still gonna get a little snap there. That's normal. It scares me every time a little bit. Makes me jump. It's just because of that all-in-one charge controller it has some little internal stuff going on this little digital display and you know, it's drawing a little bit of power all right let's um let's check our battery let's see what our Let's see what our little Testman TSM 522S. This is an auto ranging digital multimeter. And let's see what we get. Make sure I get a good connection here. You don't see that? 13. 19, 13.20, 13.19 DC. Okay, which is about what you would expect. These batteries aren't going to be shipped 100% uh, fully charged. Fully charged for them would be probably about 13.9. Now, we got ourselves all hooked up here. We got the Red Odeo 12 volt, 200 amp hour lithium phosphate battery. Beautiful. Got it all set in place. And now we just need to go hook our solar panels back up. And then we'll see what we get. So that's it. The dead battery's out. The Red Odeo is in. And everything's working the way it ought to. If you're thinking about upgrading or starting from scratch, I hope this helped. And if you want to grab the same setup, all the links are down below, including the discount code from Red Odeo. Remember, it's APP, Ask Paul Paul, right? Thanks for hanging out with me on another episode of Paul Paul's Toolbox. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what your setup looks like. I'll see y'all next time. Ooh, it's hot out here.